How's that Heisman campaign coming along? Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I got the t-shirts going, so. Uh, are you selling to the whole team? Uh, no, you know, I've had a few guys come up to me and, you know, they want to join the campaign, so I'm all for it. What do you I think it's going to... Oh, just one. What do you think is going to be key to, uh, to making this a legit thing? Uh, you know, I, I'm not too sure. You know, maybe a few fake punts, you know, maybe fake field goals, you know, get, get my touchdowns up there. I mean, I was uh, had the highest QB rating of quarterbacks last, last year, so maybe we can keep that up this year as well. You scored a few touchdowns. That feels pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I think that you know, right now we're just trying to get the basics down and, you know, really worrying about, you know, our, you know, just, you know, the coverage units and, you know, on, on you know, fake, on, uh, you know, field goal, we're just kind of working, you know, going through the routes, just going, uh, you know, things go wrong and stuff. So that's where that comes through. And then punt, you know, we, you know, fake fake punts or whatnot, and, you know, just give me a chance. And, you know, we never really had a chance last year, so we might, might get some this year. What did you see from last year that you needed to work on just to continue in your development? You know, I, I saw a few things where you know, I needed to get my drop better, uh, I needed to shorten my steps, needed you know get more hang time, and you know that's that's a, the difference between you know being a good punter, being a great punter is is the hang time and allowing your coverage units you know to get down there. You know, I've I have great gunners, great guys, great protection on, on my punt team, and uh, so I, I I'm trying to do the best of my part and help and help them out. So I think that you know helping you know getting the higher hang times will be you know my part. Do you have any idea what your average hang time was last year? I'm not. I don't think so. Um, I think maybe at one point I knew, probably about four six four seven. But you know this this year I'm aiming for about four eight four nine for average. Uh, so hopefully I can get there. What's something when you guys look at Phil as a punter? What are you looking for when you watch yourself on tape? Is it mechanical? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's all mechanical. I mean, we sit there and we break down every punt, every step, you know, to the time that I catch the ball, to the time that it's kicked. And uh, so, you know, being, you know, punter, it's all it's all robotic, it's all mechanical. So you kind of just want to have the same steps, same repetition. So you kind of are able to critique yourself a lot because, you know, there can a lot, there a lot can go wrong if you have a bad snap or you, know, you can take too long with, of, of uh, a steps, you know, your drop could be off and everything. So it's, it's a... Uh, very high, highly uh, critiqued uh, form. Hey, have you gotten the chance to meet Shane Leichler yet? Yes. Okay. How did that visit go? That was awesome. Was that? Yeah. yeah, it was really cool meeting Shane, and you know he had he had a lot of words to say to me, and and uh, you know unfortunately we weren't able to uh, practice together in the off season as as we talked, but uh, you know we, we text you know back and forth, and I, you know I text him wish him you know good luck in camp, and he did the same th thing to me, so you know just building a friendship there. Where did you meet him? Uh, I met him uh, at, at a game here. He came back for, I believe, the Vandy game. That was his first time back in a, in a long time. What did it mean for you to see a punter go to the Hall of Fame last week? Uh, it was awesome. You know, Ray Guy, you know, was well deserving of it. Uh, you know, I had the, the fortune of meeting him uh, down in Orlando when I went down there for uh, the Ray Guy Award. And, you know, he's a great guy, you know, well deserving, one of the best punters of all time. And you know it's kind of cool, you know, having a, now a punter in the Hall of Fame, and it kind of just opens the door for the rest of us. What would it mean for you to win the Ray Guy Award? <coughs> oh, I mean, it'd, it'd be unbelievable. It'd be awesome. I mean, for for myself, for the university, uh, you know, for my family, I think it'd just be a great achievement. I mean, being down there last year was such a blessing, and you know, being considered one of the top three punters last year was amazing. So just being down there again would be amazing, and and winning it would be you know, you know indescribable. How was your SEC media day experience now that you've been removed from it for a couple of weeks? <laughs> uh, overwhelming still. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of things that are going on that I didn't really know. There's a lot of cameras, a lot of a lot of uh, you know reporters. So uh, the whole experience was was awesome, and you know, just being there in front of all the all the media, all the cameras was cool, and just representing the university to my best ability was awesome. One more. What have you seen from Bertolette just continuing to fight through struggles and get more consistent? Yeah, you know, Taylor's having a great camp so far. Uh, he's come out here and made almost every field goal. Uh, and, you know, him and Lambeau are going to have a great competition when he comes back. You know, Lambeau had a, had a tweaked uh, muscle. So whenever Lambeau comes back, they're going to have a great competition going on. And, you know, I, tr I trust Coach Banks and Coach uh, someone and, you know, put the guy in, you know, the best guy in.